Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Popeye, them finos say you're firm on street. And the news where you carry are no counterfeit. So tell all who are fighter you, them can't defeat. And I got give your strength so your heart no weak. Mm-hmm. So I say God and greatness. Like, subscribe, and share to Popeye News Links if it's the truth you want to hear. Greetings, greetings, viewers and subscribers. In the news today, this one took place early yesterday morning. Tuesday, March 26, about a few minutes after 6 o'clock. It took place at Litchfield District in the Waterbit Police Area in the parish of Trelawney. Our information is that the Trelawney Police... Acting on intelligence, they carried out a raid at a house in the area. During a search, bingo, one white plastic bag was found in a column foundation on the house. That white plastic bag was found to contain that .45 Haskell pistol. It was affixed with a magazine containing 4.45 cartridges. As a result, the owner for the house, he was charged. His name is Omar Howell, but he's popularly known as Saddam. He is 48 years old. Saddam, he was charged for possession of a prohibited weapon and unauthorized possession of ammunition. So, he'll be going to the courts shortly. Intelligencers, big up on yourself, and Trelawney police, job well done. Now, in this next report, I carried a story on Sunday, March 17. I told you that a 22-year-old guy named Kimani Jackson, but he's popularly known as Manny. He's living in the Reedspen area in the Portmore area of St. Catherine. Manny, he was charged for the early morning Boxing Day murder of that guy on your screen. His name is Romario Mead, but he was also known as Chucky. Chucky, he was shot and killed while he and other persons were coming from a party. He and the other persons, they were walking along the Bloom Glow Way in the Ridspen area when it is alleged that Manny approached him and shot and killed him in front of the other persons. Well, Manny, he's now facing more charges and we are told that additional charges are pending and that is the reason why i have not yet released manny's photos yesterday manny he was charged for one forcible abduction two rape three grievous sexual assault four unlawful detention with intent to have sexual intercourse five procuration six assault at common law seven possession of a prohibited weapon and eight using a firearm to commit a scheduled offense so here are the allegations boy may i tell you you know <laughs> here are the allegations on monday afternoon february 5 about three o'clock Four school students, to include two males and two females, aged 13 and 14 years old. They were walking home from school. And reaching a section of 7 East in Greater Portmore, it is alleged that Manny, he held them up with a gun and took them to a premises. On that premises, it is alleged that Manny, he had his way with the two females. When he was done, he instructed them to remain at the premises while he made good his escape on foot in the area. We are told that on Monday of this week, Manny, who was already in police custody on the murder charge, he was placed on identification parades where Manny, he was positively identified. Like I said, we are told that more charges are coming. Stand by. <laughs> Why may I tell you, you know? Now, in this next incident, this one took place Sunday afternoon, March 24, about a few minutes after 
4 o'clock. It took place in the vicinity of the Negril Bus Park along Namprel Road in Negril in the parish of Westmoreland. Our information is that a 28-year-old man of a red ground address. He was riding a black Cobra CG200 motorcycle towards the Negril Town Centre. On the back of the bike was a 44-year-old man named Trevon Hemmings. Trevon is from Blenheim District in the parish of Hanover. As they were traveling along, we are told that a 25-year-old female, she works as a cashier in Negril, but she's living in the Savannah Lamar area. This female, she was in the process of crossing the road when the bike collided into her. As a result, both men on the bike, they were thrown onto the asphalted main road. The bike rider, he received some minor bruises, but the pillion, Trevon Hemmings, he received serious bodily injuries. The female who the bike collided into, she also received minor injuries. Trevon, he was rushed to the Savannah Lamar Public Hospital, but he was later transferred to the Cornwall Regional Hospital where he was admitted in a serious condition. But yesterday, Monday, March 26, Trevon, he succumbed to his injuries. Sad indeed. In this next report, on Thursday, March 14, I carried a report. It was about an incident that took place the previous night, about some minutes to 10 o'clock. It took place at Bastard Cedar Walk in the Petersfield area of Westmoreland. That man on your screen. His name is Robert Henry, but he was popularly known as Chubby. Chubby was 57 years old and he was a cane cutter. Chubby is originally from the parish of St. Mary, but for many years, he has been living in the parish of Westmoreland. He was living at Middle Street in the CM Bastard Cedar Walk area. Chubby, he was shot and killed by hoodlums who escaped on a motorcycle. He had received gunshot wounds to his head, his chest, and his back. Well, the police, they have now made a breakthrough in this case. What we are learning is that the police, they have charged a guy who they are saying was involved in this killing. His name is Ruan Fletcher. He is 25 years old. We are told that Ruan, he is from Ricketts Street in Savannah Lamar, but he was living at Petersfield in the parish of Westmoreland. Ruan, he was charged for murder, possession of a prohibited weapon, and using a prohibited weapon to commit a felony. So, he'll be going to the courts shortly. In this next report... The foolishness in the area continues. This latest incident, it took place last night, Tuesday, March 26, about 8 o'clock. It took place at Hellgate in the Montpelier area of Hanover. We are learning that a 23-year-old guy, popularly known as Baggio R. Sparta, he is living in the CM Hellgate area. Our information is that Sparta, he was walking home when he came upon four guys who were armed with guns. It is alleged that the four guys were Yuki, also known as Fam or Yankee, Romeo, Joe and Jovi. It is alleged that the guys, they opened gunfire at Sparta who ran off and fell. The hoodlums, they then made good their escape in a waiting white Nissan Wing Road motor car. Sparta, he received gunshot wounds to his right foot. He was rushed to a nearby hospital where he was treated and admitted. We are told that the police, they were informed and when they processed this crime scene, four 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem. In this next report, now, <laughs> yesterday, I brought you a story. I'm going to let you listen to this story again and then I'm going to tell you what we are now learning. I'm also going to be playing recordings of 
phone conversations. Listen to the story that I carried yesterday. Listen this. It took place Monday, March 25, about 9 o'clock. It took place at early nights in the parish of St. James. So, what we are learning is that a guy, his name is Marcus. He owed another guy, popularly known as Boy Blue, some money. Boy Blue is about 30 years old and he's living in the Rosites area of St. James. We are told that Boy Blue and one of his brothers, no, that brother is in his late 20s. They went to Irwin to collect the money from Marcus that he allegedly owed Boy Blue. On reaching where Marcus was, he was seen with two other guys. We are told that the two guys who were with Marcus, they pulled guns and opened gunfire hitting Boy Blue to his face and his left leg. Both shooters, they then ran away making good their escape. Boy Blue, he was rushed to hospital where he was treated and admitted. We are told that when the police processed this crime scene, Four 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. So, we did some digging. And what we carried in that story were the allegations. Like I said, we did some digging. And this is what we are now learning. Marcos, that Marcos you hear me talking about in the report. He's also known as OG. Although OG is a Tyler by trade, him also chop the line. Meaning, he is a scammer. Well, we are told that OG, he's not so established in the scamming thing. But yes, he is a scammer. Our information is that recently, OG bingo. Meaning, he was able to scam someone. But because OG is not so established in the scamming, he did not have anyone to send the one pint odd million dollars too. I'm not sure how the link was made, but OG him link up with another scammer named Blacks to ask him if he had anybody who could collect the money for him. Blacks and Boy Blue, they are brothers. One of them has a girlfriend living in Canada and it is said that they told OG to have the client Send the money to the girlfriend in Canada. Are you following me? Am I going too fast? Follow me, you know. Follow me. So, what is being said is that both Blacks and Boy Blue, they went to OG's home on a few occasions and they realized that OG, he did not have any strap on the ends. You know what that means? Blacks and Boy Blue then realized that OG, he did not have any gun on his ends or at his home. As a result, they left a gun with OG for him to protect his ends. Are you still following me? So time passed and the money that was sent to Canada, it was not paid over to OG. What them say about thief from thief? <laughs> Boy, may I tell you. Anyway, even though Boy Blue and Blacks, they did not pay over the money to OG that in bingo, they needed back the gun that they had left with OG. Now, I want you to listen to these recordings. Listen this. Yo, Kim. Where's the killer? Yeah, don't really have nothing to Watch out, man. You're a contract killer, brother. I just uh, ask to say, yo, I ain't not got nothing in your parents. I just, want, I just want my money, brother. When I get my money, brother. What can I shot? I didn't have a phone call. What's your name? Yo, Taji. Yo, Black. What's your name, Black? Black. What's your name, Black? Black. What's your name, Black? Black. Listen to me, Black. I'm an OG. I talk to you, dog. Black. Bro, bro. What's your name, dog? Blacks, mm -hmm. really tell you that. Respect no, him. Blacks, no, no, Blacks, no, really tell you that. Put yourself in a position, Blacks. Yeah. Get up and wash your face. Get up and wash your face. Hold on, hold on. 
Ah, what's in the name? What's 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 the you carry money come, you make me get my money whether you want to deposit to me or bring it come, brother. I don't free you, dog, like how you are free me. Watch out, because. Watch out, because. You're going to listen to me, you know, you know. And me, I listen to you, you know. You're going to make me get my money, OG. You are listen to me now. Yo, you never hear a man get mad for you, dog. I mean, I want to get mad for you, bro. I'm going to pick them, I'm going to pick the money. What's that, man? You see that money, huh? I'm a pit in the money, bro. You see it? So, you know what? You don't know where I have to say, brother. I'm a pit in the money, brother. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, what makes you know I give me money? What makes you want to start things and I want to give me money? Mr. T, I'm going to say, 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 I'm you're going to get your thing, dog. You're going to get your thing, dog. Just let me get my 1.8 million, brother. Just let me get my money, brother. It's simply not that way. Brother, me and I feel argue, dog. Me and I feel argue, dog. Yo, killer. Killer. Black. What's the man? Black, come see it, black. All right, come see. Oh, gee. Oh, gee. What's your name? What's your name? You just see a while ago. You may say no. You say you want to fire, don't. We just see a while ago, dog. Go by phone and put it in the hand. We just see a while ago. What's your name? You say you want to fire, don't. Can you get some things to me? You know you may say clear and so. You know you may say. You got my thing, dog. Here. Where is the clearance? Everybody tell me, watch you know, everybody tell me about you. A hey, woman alone here talk about everybody yeah. want your dead brother. No, you yeah, the dog. Everybody yeah. want your dead brother. Oh, you can't too much problem alone in the OG. I don't talk to you. Hey, you don't talk to me, you know. Come on, come on, and carry my money from me. Hey, you know what So, you heard that? So, when Blacks and Boy Blue reported to the police that they went to Marcos, also known as OG, to collect money that he owed Boy Blue, that was a lie. You heard the guys on the phone saying, All right, come for. It was actually an Illegal gun. Both blacks and boy blue went far. So, after the phone call, boy blue and his brother, blacks, they went to OG's yard to collect the gun. Our information is that the two of them, they were also armed with illegal guns. It is said that blacks and boy blue, they went into OG's yard and started to body him up. Other guys in the area intervened and Boy Blue, he was shot by one of them. We are also told that threats are being heard, so it's not done yet. St. James Police, I hope you are listening. The mayhem. The me- so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to hit on it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you will be one of the first to be notified. In the final story for today, we are learning that early yesterday morning, Tuesday, March 26, about 6.30, some farmers, they were on a farm at Cowley District in the Claremont Police Area in the parish of St. Anne when they stumbled upon the lifeless body of another farmer. His name is 
Tyrone Brown, but he was popularly known as Paul. Next month, on April 14, Paul, he would be celebrating his 54th birthday. Paul, he also lived in the Kohli district area. We are told that Paul, he was seen lying face down in bushes near to his farm hut in a pool of blood. We are also told that Paul, he was seen with several chapoons to the back of his head. He appeared to have died on the spot. The police, they were called and they processed the crime scene. So, the questions are, who killed Paul and why? The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Papa in News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe and share. Quick Silver Sin. Don't you be a bit me here, them a murder 